Hello. Today I will be showing off the OnePlus 6. This is one of the faster devices supported by Postmark OS. And it's also in the community category. As you can see here. Here it is, the OnePlus Enchilada. It is one of the devices that has a lot of green boxes behind it. And it has pretty complete documentation. I will link this page in the description of the video. As you can see on the benchmarking page, it's also almost the top device in the speed test, which is not that weird since it has eight cores and they are quite fast. Well, let's take a look at the device. So as you can see, this is pretty smooth but it's pretty hard to uh, make it actually visible on video. But everything has pretty much Android-like performance. Except that it sometimes has a bit of lag spikes, but only recording the video, this is kinda the curse of live demos. Let's open a pretty heavy website, like the new Reddit design. And after it has finished loading, like 10 megabytes of JavaScript. Also this is reasonably fast. And let's quickly close this again. I've installed quite a bit of apps here just to test how it all works. And I expect everything to uh, be pretty quick on this. This is one of the apps that is not very adapted, but at least it's fast. Even if the user interface is a bit small. This app really could use some work. So let's have a look at the GNOME users application. This app is actually quite horrible to view actual CPU usage because drawing this chart uses a lot of CPU. As you can see, there's one core basically running completely just to draw the score. But it does show you a really pretty chart bit line. So at least it's somewhat useful. You also can see some other specs here, like the memory. This phone has 8 gigs of RAM. And there's no swap configured. And this phone also has 128 gigs of storage that should be visible somewhere. Here it is. Some of the space is lost due to partitioning of the device. But at least most of it is available for postmarked OS. I should be able to show you more detailed specs in the tweaks application. Here it will show you that it has the Qualcomm Cryo cores, the three series. Um, I think this is four times uh, ARM Cortex A76 and four times A56. It also has Adreno 630, which is supported by Freedreno, so this has good 3D acceleration. And this is running at a very recent kernel. The nice thing about having this much CPU power is that you can run anything you want. And it will basically not really show down, slow down. Like this is doing some heavy DSP processing to figure out the pitch of the sound you're making. And it seems to run pretty quickly. 2048 also works, which is definitely the best game supported on Linux. And it runs smoothly. Since it's pretty hard to see the scale of a phone on video, let's compare it to the Pine phone. 
And let's turn this on. Oh. Let's compare it to a Pine phone without a battery in it. As you can see, the size is basically the same. The black levels are quite different between the phones because the OnePlus has an OLED panel and the Pine phone doesn't. So you can see that the black background of Fosh is actually dark blue on the Pine phone. The OnePlus 6 screen is a bit larger, but the downside of that is that you have to deal with a notch that's not very visible here, thanks to the OLED panel, but it has to be worked around. One of the tweaks that I've enabled on here is a CSS tweak that moves the clock over to the side so it's not behind the notch anymore in Fosh. Also, one important thing is the things that are not working on this phone. Most of the things do work, but calling does not have audio support yet, which is one of the main things. You would need to daily drive this and battery charging is not ideal. Sometimes it works, but slowly, and sometimes it does not work at all. Which is why this is currently plugged into power for the demo. These things are not impossible to solve, of course. It will just take a bit of time or more developers. This phone also does not have a lot of the conveniences that the Pine phone has, with its being easy to open up and replace parts and swap the battery and access the things you need. This one is one of the modern phones that is glued shut. And even if you open a device, it's not the most useful thing. You can't directly access most of the things that are in this phone. The battery is not easily replaceable and it's pretty hard to open this device up. This also can't be a Linux demo video without opening a terminal at least once. So here is the terminal emulator in Fosh. And again, it shows off that this thing has a lot of cores. As you can see here, the charging system is partially implemented, but it does not even detect that I have a USB cable plugged in. It also cannot detect the charging speed, which will hopefully be supported soon. So this is not the most extensive demo of the OnePlus 6, but I just got the device and I'm still figuring out what works and what doesn't. Because at least the current implemented features seem like something that is pretty usable and I can't wait to see how this will improve in the future. So if any of you have this device, um, once calling is supported, you should be able to daily drive this. Thanks for watching.